Good morning. I'm meteorologist Catherine Maxwell. It is a chilly start for us this morning, feeling like winter out there to start off the day. We're having our temperatures into the 30s and a few spots even making their way into the upper 20s. We have a freeze warning over top of the area for Pocahontas and for the western slopes. This is going to last until 10 a.m. For the remaining counties, this one's going to last until 9 a.m. So throughout this morning, we still have the possibility for some frost formation, even some freezing to occur. Right now, though, keeping up with the dry conditions and mostly clear skies, this is how radar is really going to look all day today. We have high pressure that's influencing our area, allowing us to have these dry conditions throughout today. So today is Earth Day, and it's going to be a good idea if you can to try to get outdoors for us. We'll be having our highs heading into the upper 50s and the 60s. Tonight looks like we will be a little bit warmer. We'll have our lows heading down into the 40s for most of us. Clouds are going to increase as we head more into the overnight hours tonight and even have the potential for a few showers to creep in for us overnight. And it's all because we have this system that's going to come through for us tomorrow, bringing us widespread rain to start us off Thursday morning. We'll even have a few rumbles of thunder throughout the day on Thursday for us as well. So we see that our chance of precipitation really increase as we head into tomorrow morning. We do notice though that we'll still keep up with the chance of showers throughout all day Thursday. So here's a look at tonight just to show clouds are going to increase over top of the area. A few showers are going to hit our southwestern counties first. This is looking at 2 a.m. and they're going to head up to the north and the east. So widespread rain looking very likely for us to start off tomorrow morning. This is looking at 7 a.m. As we make our way more into the day, a few scattered showers are possible. Could see a break for some of the area as well. But we have a second wave of some showers and even some thunderstorms that are going to come through in the nighttime hours and lingering into our Friday morning. So most of the severe weather is going to be geared down to our south. But as we take a closer look at home, we do notice that most of the viewing area is under thunderstorm potential for tomorrow, mainly meaning a stronger storm is possible for us. Another thing that we're bringing back are the winds. Today they're going to calm down, but they're going to ramp back up for us tomorrow as that low pressure system comes even closer. This is picking up on us hitting 30 to even 40 miles per hour. So far we don't have any wind advisories issued, but I do think it is possible we could have some, especially along the eastern slopes for us tomorrow afternoon and into the evening time frames at least. So today is looking to be basically the only dry day on the seven day forecast. We will be having some showers and thunderstorms come in for us tomorrow, keeping up with widespread rain though as we head into Friday and even the start of the weekend.